Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, and I do read, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. Today's read is the first read that I am back, Lord willing, uh, Friday, April the 1st, 2022. We'll be reading Acts, the 17th chapter, and the 18th verses, and within the context, Acts 17 and 26, made of one blood, all nations. Reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, and it reads, Now after these things, Paul departed from Athens and came to Corinth, and found a certain Jew named Aquila, born in Pontus, lately come from Italy with his wife Priscilla, because that Claudius had commanded all Jews to depart from Rome, and came unto them. And because he was of the same craft, he abode with them and wroth for and wroth, for by their occupation they were tent makers. And he reasoned in the synagogue every Sabbath and persuaded the Jews and the Greeks. And when Silas and Timotheus were come from Macedonia, Paul was pressed in the spirit and testified to the Jews that Jesus was Christ. And when they opposed themselves and blasphemed, he shook his raiment and said unto them, Your blood be upon your own heads. I'm clean. From henceforth, I will go unto the Gentiles. And he departed thence and entered into a certain man's house named Justice, one that worshiped God, whose house joined hard to the synagogue. And Crispus, the chief ruler of the synagogue, believed on the Lord with all of his house, and many of the Corinthians, hearing, believed, and were baptized. Then spake the Lord to Paul in the night by vision, Be not afraid, but speak, and hold not thy peace. For I am with thee, and no man shall set on thee to hurt thee. For I have much people in this city. And he continued there a year and six months, teaching the word of God among them. And when Galileo was the deputy of Achaia, Acacia, the Jews made insurrection with one accord against Paul and brought him to the judgment seat, saying, This fellow persuaded men to worship God contrary to the law. And when Paul was now about to open his mouth, Galileo said unto the Jews, If it were a matter of wrong or wicked lewdness, O ye Jews, reason would I should bear Reason would that I should bear with you, but if it be a question of yours, but if it be a question of words and names and of your law, look ye to it, for I will be no judge of such matters. And he drave them from the judgment seat. Then all the Greeks took Sothenus, the chief ruler of the synagogue, and beat him before the judgment seat. And Galileo cared for none of those things. And Paul, after this, tarried there yet a good while, and then took his leave of the brethren and sailed thence into Syria. And with him Priscilla and Aquila, having shorn his head in Centura, for he had a vow. And he came to Ephesus and left them there. But he himself entered into the synagogues and reasoned with the Jews. When they desired him to tarry longer time with them, he consented not. Okay, let me pause this. He consented not. He consented not. <laughs> Hold on. Praise God. We had an interruption. He consented not. But bade them farewell, saying, I must by all means keep this feast that cometh in Jerusalem, but I will return again unto you, if God will. And he sailed from Ephesus. And when he had landed at Caesarea and gone up and saluted the church, he went down to Antioch. And after he had spent some time there, he departed and went over all the country of Galatia and Phrygian in order, strengthening all the disciples. And a certain Jew named Apollos, born at Alexandria, an eloquent man and mighty in the scriptures, came to Ephesus. This man was instructed in the way of the Lord, and being fervent in the spirit, he spake and taught diligently the things of the Lord, knowing only the baptism of John. And he began to speak boldly in the synagogue, whom when Aquila and Priscilla had heard, they took him unto them. 
and expounded unto him the way of God more perfectly. And when he was disposed to pass into Acacia, the brethren wrote, exhorting the disciples to receive him, who when he was come helped them much, which had believed through grace. But he mightily convinced the Jews, and that publicly, shewing by the scriptures that Jesus was Christ. Because he knew the scriptures, he knew the law, but he learned the spirit through Jesus in the new. Praise God. Chapter 19. And it came to pass that while Paulus was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus, and finding certain disciples, he said unto them, Have ye received the Holy Ghost? Since ye believed, and they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, And he said unto them, Unto what then were ye baptized? And they said, Unto John's baptism. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him, which should come after him, and that is on Jesus Christ. And when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they spake with tongues and prophesied. And all the men were about twelve. And he went into the synagogue, and spake boldly for the grace of three months, disputing and persuading the things concerning the kingdom of God. But when divers were hardened and believed not, but spake evil of that way before the multitude, he departed from them and separated the disciples, disputing daily in the school of one Tyrannus. And this continued by the space of two years, so that all they which dwelt in Asia heard the word of the Lord Jesus both Jews and Greeks. And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul, so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs, or aprons, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. Then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, took upon them to call over them which had, helped, which had evil spirits, the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, We adhor you by Jesus whom Paul preached. We're going to finish this on tomorrow because this is one of the very significant scriptures in the Bible. You better know the Jesus. You better know the Jesus that you call upon. You don't adore nobody by the Jesus of Mama Pam. You better call upon the Jesus you know. Praise God because you can't do what I do. I may be serving the Lord and I may not. But if you call upon the name of Jesus, the one that you know, then things happen. Amen. Praise God. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of the Smurf Club for your continued donation and support to paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson, dollar sign Mama Pam 23. Tonight we should be back up broadcasting across all of these social media platforms. So prayerfully, I will see you there at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time reading this word of God. Who are we? We are Smurf. Smurf International Ministry. Seven Minute Read Family. Seven Minute Read Follows. Just Seven Minute Read Faithful Folk. I am Minister Mama Pam. And if what I read to you every day blesses you, then it's okay for you to bless me back. You can send any donation to dollar sign Mama Pam 23. That's at Cash App or PayPal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson. And you can send them $7 million checks <laughs> to Pamela Dobson at 0723 at gmail.com. All I ask you to do is, as the Lord leads and bless you, you, send $7. If you send $7 a month, that would be a blessing. $7, that's all I'm asking. But nonetheless, I'm going to read if you send no dollars, because I do it as unto the Lord. Until the next read, God bless you.